Hello, everyone. Welcome back to another episode of Daily Interior Design Inspo. I am your host, Betsy Helmuth, and today we are diving into the biggest home decor trends we have seen so far in 2023. Whether you are looking to refresh your space or just curious about what is hot in the world of interior design, I have got you covered. So grab a cup of coffee, settle in, and let us get started. With summer coming to a close, that means just one thing for design enthusiasts everywhere. It is time to take stock of the trends interior designers have seen taking over their projects this year. I tapped into the expertise of seven different design experts to weigh in on the design trends and interior design styles clients seem to be doubling down on and why they appreciate each of these approaches. First up, we have fringed details. Fringe is playful and full of fun, and it has been having a major moment this year, according to designer Elida Corey, the founder of Elida Corey Interiors. I am a texture girl, so this extra layer of design is a fun way to elevate a piece and even put a twist on something that was leaning toward modernity, the Hinsdale, Illinois-based designer says. So, if you are looking to add a touch of whimsy to your space, Fringe might just be the way to go. Next, let us talk about saturated colors. This year has brought with it a greater use of saturated hues, according to Curry. I have always loved color because it is such a feast for the eyes, she notes. For my clients who are timid, I infuse color in less daring ways. Hanging colorful artwork or adding a burst of color through pillows, accessories, a piece of furniture, or even an area rug. So if you are not ready to paint your walls a bold color, there are still plenty of ways to incorporate this trend into your home. Another trend that has been gaining traction is restorative touches. Designer Blanche Garcia has noticed an increased desire among clients looking to embrace what she calls a high vibe main character life at home. All indicators are pointing toward people working and spending more time at home and really wanting their space to feel as restorative as possible, while also creating the perfect backdrop to manifesting their very best life, says the Montclair, New Jersey-based founder of B. Garcia Designs. Garcia looks to incorporate what she calls a grounding and empowering color story throughout the home with neutrals and pops of earthy reds, purples, and greens. In her opinion, crystals are key to accessorizing a restorative retreat. We are seeing crystals implemented in so many different ways within a home, and we love the non-traditional applications that we are seeing, like creating multi-dimensional wall art, she shares. Custom furniture is also on the rise. Isabella Patrick, a New York City designer and the founder of Isabella Patrick Interiors, has noticed an increased demand for custom touches throughout the home, particularly as they pertain to furniture. Clients are understanding the benefits and value of investing in custom-designed case goods in order to maximize storage and to have truly unique pieces, she says. When you custom design, you will never walk into a friend's house and see the same coffee table or dresser. So, if you are looking to make your home truly one of a kind, custom furniture might be the way to go. Performance fabrics have also been gaining popularity. Designer Margie Kercher, the founder of Hearth and Honey Homes in Tampa, Florida, used to steer clients with kids and pets away from white sofas. But more advanced performance textiles have grown in popularity and look just as good as their more traditional, but often less durable, counterparts. The specially treated fabrics have endless color and material options and are completely resistant to spills and stains, she says. In the case of any accidents, the cleaning process is much easier and faster than your standard non-performance fabrics, which is great because ain't nobody got time for that. Bold marbles are making a statement in kitchens, bathrooms, and on many other surfaces this year. McCall Dulkies, the founder of Interiors by McCall in Palm Beach, Florida, 
says she has witnessed bold marbles used in a variety of spaces. It is such an exciting time, as I have noticed clients have started really stepping out of the box when it comes to their kitchen and bathroom countertops, she says. We have been taking risks and selecting bold natural stones, and our clients have been totally on board. Curry agrees, adding, clients are more savvy as to how stone elevates a space. She is seeing them begin to explore stone furniture and dialing up fireplaces, backsplashes, and more. Sizable kitchen islands are also trending. Not only are kitchen islands becoming more stylish, think fluting, major veining, and contrast trim, but they are also getting bigger in many cases. Designer Deborah Pianin, the founder of Deborah Pianin Interiors in Stamford, Connecticut, has found that her clients are investing more in their islands than before. Home entertaining has been at the forefront of homeowners' minds since the pandemic, she says. The size and material used for an island was always a priority. However, more importance has been placed on island seating. Gone are the days when uncomfortable, backless counter stools were tucked under overhangs out of sight. Clients are now opting for stylish, cushy seating that appeals just as much to guests as their kitchen chair counterparts. Vintage pieces have been majorly en vogue this year. It is the best way to be earth conscious, and I love that revamping a vintage piece can give a nod to a previous design period with a fresh approach, Curry says. So if you are looking to add some character to your home, consider hunting for some vintage treasures. Natural touches are also making waves. Kercher has noticed a stronger pull toward natural materials and biophilic design this year. Feeling connected to nature is important to most people in order to feel calm, grounded, and peaceful, she says. It is not a trend that will be going anywhere anytime soon. Whether it is wood, stone, plaster, wool, jute, plants, or other natural materials, incorporating these elements has a way of bringing the outdoors in and evoking a sense of tranquility and serenity. Floral wall coverings are another trend we are seeing. Curry has noticed an influx of wallpaper with floral and botanical prints. This pattern style is giving the design world some seriously gorgeous moments, she says. The modern take on this style, mixed in with transitional or traditional elements, creates more curated spaces. Organic shapes are popping up all throughout the home. Much like the use of natural materials, there is something about organic shapes that feels perfectly imperfect and creates a sense of freedom and movement in your space, Kercher says. We are seeing a lot of this in furniture, lighting, mirrors, pillows, and decor. Funkier choices are also having their moment. Kercher appreciates that clients have been more willing to think outside the box and go bold lately. Ever since the pandemic and spending more time in our homes, people have really stepped out of their neutral boxes and into the world of color and fun K, she notes. Whether it is pops of color, color blocks, or an entire colorful room, I love to see it. Finally, let us talk about barbacore. In the wake of Greta Gerwig's Barbie movie, 2023 has been all about rethinking pink in fashion, beauty, and even the home. This shade had waned in popularity for a bit, with millennial pink giving way to shades like Gen Z yellow, pale terracottas, sage greens, and lavenders over the past few years. The interest in Barbie core, however, reignited plenty of people's passion for pink. And if you have been partial to this shade from the get-go, the design duo of Maria Brazil Arquidatura thinks now is the time to embrace it in the home. Hue and tone are key for longevity, though, when it comes to pink. That may mean selecting blush over, say, Pepto pink or neon raspberry, unless bold, saturated colors truly speak to you. One of the reasons this kitchen is timeless is the harmonious, pleasant, cozy, creative, and charming tone combined with the classic language of Ornari's Paris line in shades of light pink that refers to past styles with contemporary reinterpretation, 
says Maria Brazil Arquitetura of the cook space shown here. Blackout curtains, some love them, some hate them. However, if you cannot get enough sleep, have a hefty electricity bill because of drafty windows, or prefer your room on the darker side, blackout curtains could be your new best friend forever. They serve a variety of purposes, from blocking out unwanted light to insulating the temperature in your space. They also just might help you cut down on those sleepless nights and gain some energy back. If you are gone during the day and would prefer not to walk into a home that feels like it has been slow roasting for eight hours, blackout curtains keep your home cooler during the warmer months by keeping out rays and holding in air-conditioned air. Another huge plus, which cannot necessarily be said for other highly functional home essentials, is that blackout curtains can act as decor statements, adding to a room's design rather than taking away from it. We are big fans, so we put a range of blackout curtains to the test to find the best of the best. Best overall, Sun Zero, Nordic Theater Grade Extreme 100% Blackout Curtains. Forget draping big dark curtains just for the sake of blocking light. Sun Zero's Nordic theater grade blackout curtains allow you to keep the integrity of your space's indoor lighting and decor scheme. They effectively block light no matter which color you choose, even pearl white. And trust us, there are plenty of shades to pick from. The all polyester curtains are available in 22 colors and seven lengths, making them a solid choice for windows of all sizes. Make no mistake, these are 100% blackout curtains with a black backing that absorbs light and will make your living room or bedroom the perfect setting for movie night or restful sleep. Best budget-friendly, Sun Plabelk, 100% recycled total blackout curtains. Our budget-friendly pick, Sun Plus BLK 100% recycled total blackout curtains, is the real deal when it comes to achieving total blackout in any room without breaking the bank. In testing, apartment therapy contributor Kendall was so impressed by their ability to block natural light that she even draped a panel directly over a forcefully bright spotlight, the bulb of which should not be looked at with the naked eye, and there was not even a sparkle detectable behind it. These are not any heavier than your average curtain. In fact, they may even be lighter weight, nor do they have that unappealing plasticky look or feel typical of inexpensive curtains. On the contrary, they are among the most attractive blackout curtains we tried. Best Luxury, West Elm Worn Velvet Blackout Curtains. Drafty windows are the enemy of anyone who loves a warm, cozy space in the winter. And if you invest in central heating, they can also be the enemy of your bank account. Whether or not you simply get chilly when you sleep, West Elm's worn velvet blackout curtains are a saving grace during cold weather. These brushed low pile velvet curtains have pleated rod pocket headings that give them a strikingly luxe appearance while allowing them to block heat from escaping. After testing for a month in New York City's winter, Kendall noticed that her space was significantly warmer without increasing the heat output. Best Darkening Aurora Home Thermal Insulated Blackout Grommet Top Curtains. The best-selling Aurora Home Thermal Insulated Blackout Curtains offer an elegant pop of color in five shades from beige to blue. At $45 or less if they are on sale, you can snag a two-piece set of these energy-saving curtains that come with coordinating tiebacks for an instant decor upgrade. They are durable, machine washable, and easy to install. Plus, they will assist with preserving the temperature of your indoor space, which means you can rely less on cooling or heat and keep your energy bill from rising. Best Insulating West Elm Crossweave Blackout Curtains When it comes to blackout curtains, West Elm not only has ultra-stylish options, but highly effective ones as well. The crossweave blackout curtains, which can be purchased individually or as a pair, are just one tried and true example. 
Available in four neutral colors, the blackout curtains sport a subtle woven texture and have a sewn-in blackout lining. While the brand recommends the curtains for nurseries and bright bedrooms, they can also work in any room to tone down outside light and sound. Best Noise Reducing Pottery Barn Peace and Quiet Noise Reducing Blackout Curtain If you are a highly sensitive sleeper and wake to even slight sounds or visual motion, these deceptively heavy-duty curtains are for you. Beautiful enough to garner compliments, which I shamelessly loved, the linen-looking Peace and Quiet Noise Reducing Blackout Curtains from Pottery Barn are made in a fair trade certified factory and give you three different headings to choose from rod pocket, back tabs, and the option to clip rings on top. Best for Bedroom Quince Raw Silk Blackout Curtain If one of your fears is dragging down the feel of a room with heavy blackout curtains, you are not alone. You are also in luck because Quince has a solution in the form of the Raw Silk Blackout Curtain. This brand continues to be an editor and reader favorite at apartment therapy for bed blankets, bath towels, pillows, and even luggage. Now, blackout curtains can be added to the bunch. The Raw Silk Blackout Curtain is our pick for bedrooms and nurseries for multiple reasons, including but not limited to appearance, effectiveness, and room darkening options. Best Blackout Curtain Liner, Pottery Barn Universal Blackout Curtain Liner. Upgrading regular decorative curtains into blackout versions of themselves is as simple as pairing them with a compatible liner. Fortunately, Pottery Barn makes it super easy to find one. The Universal Blackout Curtain Liner, sold individually, can be used with ring, grommet, tab top, and fabric loops on a single rod. If you are using a double rod, the liner can only accommodate pole top curtains. The liners come with nine curtain hooks, and yes, they are conveniently machine washable. All right, design enthusiasts, let us dive into a transformation that is sure to inspire you. We are talking about a $1,500 redo that rescued a very 1979 bathroom with a rotting vanity. This is a classic before and after that showcases the power of a well thought out budget and a little bit of elbow grease. Homeowners Kandra and Mark Sobel were faced with a bathroom straight out of 1979. Imagine dark beige walls, old brown and green tiles, and a clunky vanity that had not been replaced in the home's 44-year lifespan. To top it all off, the vanity came complete with a pink countertop and rotten wood. Yes, you heard that right, rotten wood! Despite the dated and deteriorating features, Condra and Mark saw the potential in their space. The first step in their $1,500 redo was to remove the rotten vanity. Mark then built a floating vanity out of birch plywood. He started with a framework mounted to the wall and added a vessel sink on top. This change alone began to shift the bathroom from drab to fab. Next, they added wood trim to the walls and installed white subway tile underneath. Condra shares that this addition made the biggest difference, adding so much character to the space. The installation was labor intensive, especially since it was their first time tiling over existing tile. They learned that smaller tiles closer to the original size would have made the process easier, but even so, the end result was worth all the work and mess. The white subway tile brightened up the room, and its classic silhouette is on trend for 2023, while promising not to become dated anytime soon. Plus, it is budget-friendly, which is always a win in my book. After setting the tile and vanity, the Sobels added new paint in Sherwin-Williams's expressive plum and curated wall decor. Condra used all thrifted art and prints, creating an eclectic feel that is a pleasant surprise when entering the space from a more neutral room. The round gold mirror was also a thrift find, and the new vanity lighting was a $150 steal from Amazon. Kandra's biggest piece of home decor advice is that you do not have to spend a fortune to make an impact. 
their subway tiles were a bargain. And the new vanity proves you do not have to spend thousands on a low-quality vanity cabinet from a big box store. Her favorite part of the redo was designing it all and seeing it come together. So if you are looking for budget-friendly bathroom inspiration, especially for a dated space, take a leaf out of Condra and Mark's book. This $500 redo shows that with creativity, thriftiness, and a bit of hard work, you can transform even the most outdated spaces into something beautiful and modern. That is all for today's episode of Daily Interior Design Inspo. I hope you found these tips and transformations as inspiring as I did. Do not forget to tune in tomorrow for more design ideas and budget-friendly solutions. Until then, happy decorating.